Okay, so I had a couple of questions about these older mag relays. Um, and pretty much just, you know, is there any way to make them um, work better, like if they're getting old? Um, basically, the only thing that I've got to say is these relays are very simple, and uh, with a little bit of uh, help and love, they should last a little bit longer. Um, so you can see here, this one still functions pretty well, but it gets hung up. Sometimes it misses that top contact when the uh, sometimes when the coil would activate, this thing would be like down there, and it would just totally miss the top contact. So that uh, was fixed by focus. There's that little wire there. You just bend that up a little bit, and then that fixed that. That fixes that problem. Oh, well, most of the time. But you can see it still gets hung up like that. Um, notice that when that happens, these contacts move. There's one here that moves, and there's one on this side that also moves. That's what you're going to want to clean. Um, yeah. So, there's a pivot point here, pivot point here, here, and here, along with this spring. Um, so what you're going to want to do is take uh, some small sandpaper, or sometimes, you know, if you don't have that, just even maybe a, a, a small file. And what you're going to want to do is just stick the file, make sure the opener is powered off, and it helps sometimes to totally remove the relay, uh, but it's a pain in the butt. So what you're going to want to do, really, is just get the file in there, or your sandpaper or whatever, and just, you know, gently file the contacts a little bit. I'm trying to pay attention to what I'm doing and do this at the same time while filming. Just, you know, clean the contacts a little bit and it's not going to focus in any better. Um, but yeah, so just kind of clear clear off the metal surface so it makes a good contact. Dirt is a very good insulator, and uh, you don't want insulation. On this side there's two contacts. There's one on the top and one on the bottom. On the other side there was just one, but you can see they switch between contacts. Top, bottom, top, bottom. So what you're going to want to do then is click the relay, so that it's pushing against one and then clean with the file or your sandpaper between the one that it's pushing at or actually it's going to be easiest to do with the one open so disregard my previous advice you're going to just clean gently between the contacts this is kind of hard to do so bear with me here You know, back and forth, then click it over, and then do the other side. This one's a little bit harder to get into, so I'm going to do this again, but with the sandpaper. And usually, when you do this with the sandpaper, what I recommend doing is folding this over in half like this. Yeah, there we go. And uh, just getting it between the contact. There you go. Now you can actually see what I'm doing. Get it between the contact, which can sometimes be a pain in the butt with a bunch of wires everywhere. Whichever one's open. Which one's open? The top one's open. Okay. I'm losing my mind. There we go. So yeah, just usually pull back and forth a little bit. Sometimes it can be difficult to get the sandpaper between the contacts. But just uh, do the top and the bottom. Usually you only need to go through it once. Um, just, you know, do it once, see how it works. If you need to, do it a couple more times. Alright, 
So you get the gist of what I'm doing here. Um, I'll get into cleaning the pivot points in a minute, because you can see this is still getting stuck there. So, for the thermal light delays, I also had a question. Uh, same thing goes to cleaning those contacts, um, but this light timer was actually broken. Um, the wire was snapped, so what I did was I unwound it like one or two turns. Come on. Uh, I can't focus this close. What I did was I just unwound it um, a little bit. You can see there it's about an eighth, eighth of an inch unwound on there. And I just twisted the wires together and put a thin layer of solder over it. You can't even see the solder. I don't think it's stuck. So pretty much it's just, you know, um, just sitting there. But I soldered the wire onto the contact there because it was also broken off here. And it wasn't the best there. Come on. This iPhone is not the greatest for close-ups, but, um, Yeah. So if there's any corrosion on these terminals, uh, the best thing to do is use a sander or something, or, you know, sandpaper, I mean, uh, or a file, and clean it up. Uh, this contact had some corrosion on it. You can still see there's a little bit of it left that I couldn't get off. Um, but just clean it up as best you can because uh, crap on your metal is not good. Um, so, yeah. And the same thing here. If you see corrosion on the wires... Um, you know, try and clean it off the best you can, either with you know with the sandpaper, the file, the screwdriver, whatever you've got. Just try and clean it off as best you can. Um, this has turned into a seven-minute video. Good God. Okay, uh, let's get into cleaning. I'll uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I used my brain for once and pulled off the mount plate. But what you're gonna want to do here, I've got some heavy duty. This is actually. Uh, I think this is bearing oil, but it's heavy duty oil, so it's going to be, uh, you know, decent quality. Um, and I've also got a paper towel here. You know, nothing special about that. What you're going to want to do, let's see if I can show this to you. I'm just going to rip off a small piece of paper towel so you can kind of see this better. we we'll just, you know, wipe off the contacts, basically, or the pivot points as best you can. Um, there's going to be some stuff that you're not going to be able to get at, but, you know, just trying, basically just clean the pivot points the best that you can on this. And this is just because, you know, this has been sitting in a garage door opener for 40 plus years, so there's probably some dust and stuff that's caked on there that's not going to come off willingly. Okay, so, it's still hanging up a little. Well, that's better, just as is. But, um, just to be safe here, what I'm going to do is take this little bearing grease thing. has a nifty little needle point act uh, ap applicator. So, sorry about that. I'm, I'm losing uh, time in my phone. Refocus this for you. What I'm going to do is take the little applicator and just put a drop of oil on the pivot point. So there's three on this side. Turn it over, and I think there's just this one here. Okay. So just work that back and forth a couple times. already much better. Okay, I think the reason this is getting hung up is because it's just... Okay, now it's sticking again. There we go. So I think the reason that it's doing that is because this point here... So I'm just going to put a dot of oil on those two contacts. Alrighty, working much better. Now I'm going to wipe off all the excess oil 
uh, just because oil does conduct some electricity. So, um, also be gentle with these um, because you know they are older. So, all right. So just wipe off all the uh, excess grease that hasn't, or all the excess oil that hasn't soaked into the contact. And um, for the thermal light delays. Um, if you solder stuff, stuff together, uh, keep the case off, and basically what you're going to have to do is kind of break it in. So what you're going to do, once you hook this back up, is sit there with your remote and watch it work. Because you, again with the cell phone memory, anyway, um, because you soldered to this, uh, it's going to get hot, and solder melts when it gets hot. So just, you know, be careful, don't stand right underneath the light delay, because something might drop. Um, chances are, though, nothing's going to drop, and all it's going to do is create a little bit of smoke for the first time or two. But what you're going to do is run the door up, and then run it back down, and just, you know, let it come back all the way, and then maybe do that one more time, and you should be good to go. Um... Just, you know, be careful, and, uh, yeah. Don't run it uh, without letting it cool down completely first. Uh, that should be able, you should be able to fix these older light delays um, just by doing that, but, uh, you know, all it takes is a little bit of care. Sometimes these wires might be burned up in a couple more places, so just look closely. Um, but, yeah, uh, any questions, guys, let me know. Thanks. Later. So you're looking at my Chamberlain remote right now, the 950 EVC, or uh, I think it's 950, I don't remember. Um, uh, just because I wanted to put something related in here so you're not just staring down at my couch. Um, but I was watching the video that I took on the light delay cleaning and the mag relay cleaning, and the one thing that I forgot to mention that I really need to say is important is when you start clicking that relay, make sure that if you take it out of the opener or um, if you, you know, just when you start clicking it, make sure you know where that relay was. Because I, I don't know if you saw the arms moving, the top arm goes up over the bottom one, then the they kind of switch like that. Um, the uh, You got to just make sure that you know where that was. Because if you put it in the wrong way uh, and you go to run your opener, uh, it's going to want to make the motor turn the other way. So I just wanted to make sure that uh, everybody knows that. And uh, either take a picture of the relay before you um, start messing with it. Um, also, it's a good idea to take a picture of the wiring if you're going to take it out of the opener when you did that. So just, uh, you know safeguard yourself so you don't kill your opener by doing something stupid. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video, and um, well, you probably get better things to do, so I'll let you go. Bye.